everybody. Happy Thursday. Been a bit of a gray start for us here, seeing still seeing a few clouds on the different cameras across the state line, but those are going to quickly start to dissipate here over the next hour or so as sunshine is set to make its return. Our Rock River Kia Maximum Tracker is showing a few remnants of the morning showers that we had. No really thunder was recorded on these, but our clouds are also starting to dissipate. So again, another hour or so, I think we'll be seeing quite a bit of sunshine. Temperatures across the state line sitting in the mid 70s, 76 in Rockford, 75 in Janesville. Dew points are, of course, on the elevated side, meaning just because of the rain that we had earlier on here today. Winds aren't much of a help as they're on the lighter side, only about three miles per hour out of the east northeast here currently. And by the time we get toward the afternoon, again, that sunshine will finally be returning. Can't rule out a stray shower here or there, but I don't think the chances are really that high. And as we go into the evening hours, our clear skies, well, they're going to maintain as well. Can't rule out a stray shower again, but that's earlier on. But by the time we get towards the overnight hours, getting down to a low of 59 degrees with mainly clear skies, winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday is looking to be a gorgeous day to get outside. Either that's going to the pool or going to the Alpine Qantas Brat days as it's going to be a day filled with sunshine. Highs are going to top out in the mid to upper 80, so a little bit warmer, but that is just a taste of what is to come. As we head into Saturday, winds are going to shift to be out of the south, allowing for more moisture to be transported in, meaning our highs are going to be in the upper 80s here for a Saturday with dew points near that 70 degree mark. Well, we could reach the mid 90s for our heat index values. But as we head overnight into the evening hours, I am keeping track of a band of showers and thunderstorms making their way through as these have a marginal one out of five risk for being on the strong the possibly severe side with these. These storms are going to be in a much more of a weakening phase, so our severe risk is a lot less considered than what we see up to the northwest. But I do want to point out, though, we are going to be sitting in a ring of fire pattern as a large high pressure bubble is set to make its way or set to build over the Colorado region. And with that, we're going to see a large amount of warmth make its way to make, make its way to the state line. And with that, we are also going to see the return of some active weather as well as we are in a slight 15% risk for both Sunday, which is currently what's on the screen and Monday as well as with this ring of fire. We are going to see plenty of heat as highs are going to be in the mid 90s with heat index values in the lower 100s and a lot of instability along with us. Our jet stream pattern is really favorable for the development of showers and thunderstorms. So we have that first round there for Sunday and Monday. I think those are the higher days of probability of us actually getting showers and thunderstorms that could be on the stronger side, but decided to go ahead and throw it in there for Saturday night as well. When it comes to Tuesday, though, temperatures are going to quickly start to cool back off. 88 degrees for us here Tuesday and 85 for us here on Wednesday.